how to make a strawberry mirror out of clay. Let's see how this turns out. Got my air dry clay ready. Need. Roll it out. I cut out a strawberry shape beforehand so I could easily trace it onto the clay. Scrunch. Slip and score so it stays together. Dry please. Sand sand sand. Acrylic paint time. Glue the mirror down. It turned out so shiny and glossy I love. But this is a real fine. Just buy it. You don't have to rationalize everything. Hmm. All right. I will buy it. It'll be good for the economy. I've seen lots of people wanting to know how to do the glass painting thing, so I'm about to show you. So I went to Walmart, I picked up acrylic paint, a uh, paint pen, and a nice uh, frame, and it was all under $9. So what I did was I took out the glass, and uh, I printed off the reference photo I wanted to use, and I put it behind the frame, and I tape it. So yeah, I trace over it with uh, the paint pen, so this is just me tracing. I had two sizes. I had a medium tip and a fine tip. So yeah, after you're done with that, make sure it's dry. Blow dry it just a bit to make sure it was dry. Then you flip it over and paint the back side of it. You might have to do a couple coats because um, that's what I had to do because you could see through a couple parts. But yeah. So yeah, when you're done, make sure it's dry, flip it over, and there you go. first fairy garden on TikTok. I've made this one before, but I wanted to make it more detailed and special. I got in the pot from the Goodwill, as well as the rock from my mom's garden. I'm currently staying there right now until my mental health gets better. That's why I'm in an RV and I'm getting stuff from her garden. And I also got some soil to make the foundation sturdier and a handmade clay house to make them play, of course. And then a tiny little boy with a stool, which I thought were so cute and such good parts of it. And some hand mushrooms that I'd made put them in there. I liked how they're kind of just barely poking out of the top and then some cyprum moss, <laughs> some forest moss as well and some reindeer moss and some purple moss and some tiny little bits that I thought would really add to it. I'm not very good at editing yet but practice makes perfect and I really like it. It's going to be up on my shop on October 15th and it's going to be called Mushroom Heads. <laughs> Thank you for watching.
Tai